just slam dunk him in the river. <laughs> Let the lozenges eat him. God damn it. Looks like we're definitely not returning that on time. Yes, yeah, so it's it should only be throughout the night. Tomorrow you will be free to uh to leave as you see fit. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. It was a unexpected drill. It kind of says the weary eye and looks at his fellow so right right so uh somewhere safe we can uh, take shelter at any recommendations mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, this city is not one for its hospitality or really anything at this point and the other one will kind of like shh, like hit him almost, kind of like with his elbow. I have to tell him to kind of like shut up. <clears throat> but he says, the most functioning place to lay your head. And I say functioning with, uh, you, know, you can see he's kind of like hesitant when he says that is, uh, called the old mat it's a couple blocks uh, away from here uh, you can't miss it. it used to be an old laundry mat before this all started the previous bar that uh, was the main that was the main attraction around here uh, got blown to smithereens and it just happened that the laundromat uh, owner also was blown to smithereens, so the previous bartender took it over, turned it into a bar. Well, that's a lovely little tale. We'll uh, be on our way then. Thanks. Yep, no problem. So uh, try to stay off uh, the streets. Yep. Just to be safe. Yes, sir. I'd hate to be uh, accosted during this train and exercise and all. That's even when uh, there is no training exercise going on. Just a precaution. Right. Well, if we have uh, nothing left to say, gentlemen, let's. Uh... It's mosey on over to the old man. Might as well. It doesn't look like we're getting anywhere with this. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So I gotta get that out. <laughs> Alright. You walk through the ruined streets, rubble, trash. And homeless lay about the street. The switch situation looks a lot worse looking from within and not just uh, for your standing at the dock. <clears throat> Some citizens can be seen walking about. Um, they do not look un unwashed in a sense of like their faces and um, and debris <clears throat> or dirt. Uh, many of the streets have block blockades set up by police or military officials. Uh, you see the old mat, which looks to be what an old laundry mat, missing a good chunk of its front wall. You see the people inside sitting around the washing machines, eating and drinking up. It looks like it has been turned into a small bar, like the military officer said. Hopefully said boss man's okay with whatever we got. 
Yeah, we're really in a position to choose either. I say, man, let's just uh, head on in, see what the rates are, get a nice room or two, and write it. Granted, it's uh, laundry mats. I'm not sure if they even have uh, rooms established. Fingers crossed, though, right? I work with you, Sol. Yeah, what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little woozy. I lost some blood there. Maybe we should ask for a doctor too, Dermov. I need a bit more treat. But no, uh, get some lodgings maybe at this laundry. Yeah, yeah, so sure. That sounds fine. I kind of doubt we'll be that lucky. Who knows? Well, let's get in there. And John Dota will swagger on. <laughs> right. Yeah, you see, uh, there's it's like some old chairs and stools pulled up to like some old washers and dryers, um, but they never moved out. Um, <clears throat> and there's like people um, using them to eat and drink off of the, the washers and dryers. Um, you notice that there's a bunch of different, uh, you notice there's a generator, or you can hear a gen generator in like a little sh that they kind of built outside of the laundromat, um, cause you can hear it running. You see the wires kind of draping around the walls, um, inside the laundromat itself, going to different, uh, different sources of electricity, like lights and, uh, like the beer machines and, <clears throat> and like the radio. Gotcha. The lady at the front of the bar, which looks to be just like a normal normal store counter, <laughs> will look up at you and says, And who just might you be? Hey, I'm John Dodo. Uh... I'm really from around these parts. These are my associates here. Uh, we were told by the military outside we had to take shelter for the evening. Oh. Yeah, well, sometimes uh, they like us to stay inside uh, during the day. Maybe they knows. Maybe there's some sort of raid that's going to happen soon. It's hard to tell. But here is uh, safer than anywhere else in the, the city, I can assure you that. And we have some nice accommodations. We have a radio that picks up three three uh, channels. Ooh, wonderful. Do you happen to have any uh, rooms you can rest at? Oh, I do uh, know this is a former laundry mat, so I'm not sure if uh, those accommodations I <clears throat> should like pull out like a clipboard. Start looking through it. <clears throat> she says, "Well, upstairs used to be um, a, a couple of apartments. I was able to buy them out uh, and use them as a uh, room and board. This is, it's ninety uh, Ninety credits a night for uh, two twin beds or two queen beds. So. Uh -huh. uh, what do you think, gentlemen? Uh, you want to share a room? Or it's the biggest more? room I've got, unfortunately. Right. I don't know if you don't mind bunking. I'm game. What about you, Saul? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's fine with me. All right, we'll take it. Right. Oh, here are your keys. Checkout is exactly eleven o'clock. Right, right, of course. And uh, we also have uh, on-site laundry. 
Um, you need to get that done. <laughs> I'm gonna glance at Saul with his bloodied up fucking pants, bro. I guess you're like, oh, sweetie, what happened? Uh, you know, I uh ended up going swimming unintentionally when I was fucking uh. I don't know. Ang angry fish things took a bite out of me. Oh. Uh, fuck that thing off pretty good. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm actually, uh, you know, I'm serving up some uh, tonight if you guys want to come down for dinner. It's, uh, you know, it's only uh, $10 a plate. Comes with some sides, fancy. Well, I might be inclined to grab some. I uh, get in here worked up quite an appetite. Well, I'll just put it on your tab uh, if you do decide to come down. All right, much obliged. And uh, John Dodo will nod his head and probably head up to the room. Check it out. <clears throat> All right. So uh, behind, uh, so it's not behind the counter, but off to the left, um, farther back into the room. There's stairs going up. Those stairs lead up to a hallway, and, and uh, they lead up to a couple of rooms, leading up to your guys's roommate, uh, to be precise. You open up to the left. You have a small closet with a couple of hangers, um, bathroom. Um, and then two twin beds uh, in the main room and a couple of holes here and there in the walls and the sink and a little bit of leakage from the sink like you can just hear it like leaking and there's little dropping sounds but yeah, that's the bit that's the, that's the room definitely uh, you know probably if you guys have ever stayed at a professional Hotel and or mode. It's probably one of the shittier ones that you've been to. You know, it could be worse. Could be. I would want to divvy up the beds. I'm fine sleeping next to whoever. Well, Saul does love company. Well, right. I mean, I am I am injured, so. Uh... Uh, and Thermoff will keep you secure, Saul. I mean, a little, a little privacy might be, uh, might be better, you know, for for the healing process. Nah, no, nah, no, Saul. I think so, man. Like, what if he gets infected overnight? Dermoff here would know in an instant when he's right next. I mean, uh, I don't really believe that at all. Was he walking like so? Who's the mom? What better muscle? <laughs> Well, uh, uh, huh. You know, fuck it. Saul, who see you take It's you and me, Dermov. Yeah, it seems about right. Uh, dinner time starts to roll, roll around. You, you guys go down soon. John Dodo shall go. Did some. Saul Ratman will limp down the stairs. <laughs> Saul, <laughs> buddy. You, you need some help there? Maybe oh, no. Oh, no. I got it. I'm fine. Don't, don't even worry. There's a handrail and everything. This place is the left of luxury. Yeah, like when you put your hand on it, it just kind of like creaks and then breaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't do that. I'm not paying for it. <laughs> Just yeah, I, faster. I didn't see anything, bud. Come on, let me help out. Definitely not the worst place that I've been, but it works. What is the worst place you ever been to, Dermov? You ever wipe your ass with a pine cone? <laughs> uh, no, I have not, but I gotta ask a question, Dermov. Why a pine cone? Why not a, a leaf or something? 
find that would be my first option. I mean, sometimes, sometimes think the things that are available are not the most comfortable. Me myself, I once had to wipe my ass with a piece of a motherboard from like a like a old <laughs> old uh, computer I busted open to try to steal parts from. Um, yeah, had a massive diarrhea attack. This is back when I was was living on the streets in that space station. That was not a good idea. Yeah, trust me. Don't ever do <laughs> It definitely sounds like that was a hell of a lot more rough. I mean, Did you not have right. alternatives, Saul? Like I what mean, about uh what about the case to the computer or something, right? Is oh, that like that, a that thing, was, that thing was rusted half the shit. Trust me. The, and the motherboard, the motherboard wasn't. was the least infectious thing in that whole whole pile of garbage. That seems like a good choice, honestly. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. I already didn't have any socks anymore. I had already used those a couple of days before. And my underwear, that was mostly holes. Uh, and I only had the one pair of pants and a jacket, so I'm not gonna use those. Hmm. Oh, yeah, no. The reason for a pine cone was that uh, no other leaves were left. All right, then. That seems reasonable. Can't say I've ever uh, wiped my ass with anything uh, out of the ordinary. I mean, that sort of makes... I mean, what, what did you say? You were like a cop? Uh, sure. Like uh, an investigator would be more accurate. Mm -hmm. Someone, someone on that side of the of the law, though. What are you on the other side, Song? I mean, I'm sort of in the middle. I would feel I've done a, I've had a long and varied life. Come on, don't don't ask me too many questions about that. But all all I'm saying is is uh, those those kind of guys, they tend not to end up in situations like, like me or uh, I guess. Uh, is is the same situations as Dermov here. I don't know. Uh, uh, those sorts of people always seem to have it a little... That's all I'm saying. Uh, I can see where you're coming from. Oh, I've had my fair share of danger. There's one time I had to chase uh, a fucking perp down in a galactic race of sorts. Went from... from uh, Near the border of Glad or across Deutschland, all the way to the Pearl. He got away with that because he made it to the Pearl. Yeah, yeah, it's always sort of a safe haven. Well, that's one word for it. I prefer a lawless pile of shit, but well, hey, hey, come Jeez. on, there's there's nice parts. I mean, there's a reason inter intergalactic uh, or interplanetary business people come there to, to vacation. It's not just the fact that we don't have any laws and you can buy slaves and fuck anybody you want. But there's, there's some nice scenery, you know, in certain parts. Not many, it's mostly just a big old desert, but, uh, you know. Yeah, you, you ain't selling me on the pearl here. I mean, hey, I'm not trying to. The place, uh, legitimately, it is a shithole. But, uh, uh, I mean, there's good. You gotta take the good with the bad, you know? Hmm. I imagine that you definitely want to bring a condom there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. I mean, like, if you're born there like me, there's, there's, there's a non-zero percent chance you're going to be born with something. Like, it's it's pretty fucked up. Me, I was a little bit on the lucky side. I didn't have nothing. Caught a couple things when I was in, like, nothing permanent, though. I uh, They cleared up. Hmm. Thankfully. Oof. It's some, I'll have uh, to remember that the next time you get uh, blood everywhere. I mean, the blood's the blood's fine. Just like, uh, yeah, like if we go to the, <laughs> if we end up going to the pearl, though, I don't know why we would go there. I don't want to go there, but uh, if we end up going, just don't touch anybody. Generally, try not to touch anybody. It's really gross. They all sound pretty skeevy. As you guys start to make your way, as you guys are having this conversation, make your way down uh, the stairs, you notice that the, the 
there, and the bar has um, these different like light sources, it's like light bulbs set up. The uh, the bar that are now changing colors and kind of like flashing, almost to, like different like, you know, like blue, red, green, kind of like lighting up the room like that. Any kind of hear? I don't know. Can you guys hear the music? Yeah, faintly. I gotta plug up the volume. Um, All right. <clears throat> there's like off in the corner there's a band that's kind of set up um set up shop kind of playing this festive uh type music and uh, you can see the waiters going to, to the di different washing machines and putting down the food um and the, <laughs> you notice that, that the uh the food is actually coming upstairs as well from one of the apartments <laughs> that they're uh, <laughs> cooking it in. <laughs> uh, and you get in there, and she says, uh, "Boys, boys, come down, come down. You've uh, picked a good night to stay here. It's a uh, fiesta night." She uses like some sort of uh, local term for a fiesta that. Uh, uh, Dermov would uh, pick up on. Maybe not the two outsiders. Interesting, interesting. Uh, you know what that, uh, that means, Dermov? Some kind of party? A little bit of a celebration. Some good st stuff is left over in abundance. Means we get to have some of the good uh, butter stuff for dinner instead of uh, you know what's left over in the fridge that might be turned off for over three days. Right. All right. Let's uh get a table then and uh, enjoy some. Oh yes, washer uh washer number eight is uh, available. Cool. Thank you. You just see like this like wooden like stick poking up with like a little like card with mad like fucking like colored marker written on it. It's yeah. Like number eight. <laughs> What do we Come mean? on, we gentlemen. Turn that on to tumble dry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, you gotta have a little fun when you're stuck in these situations. Alright, uh, you guys go sit down, I guess. Right? You guys go sit down. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, and the, the waiter will, uh, <laughs> come up to you guys and, uh, say, well, we only got, uh, two things on the menu. Where is that fucking fish's name? I can't remember the fish's name off the top of my head. Uh, sure something, but we're just calling it Lawson's for the list. Uh... Like it's the or something. Lozen, yeah, Lozen, Lozen. Uh, we got uh, Lozen fillet, fillet, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, fillet, and uh, she'll name off uh, another kind of animal that's mostly like a considered a rodent in this, these parts. Uh, Dermob, you'd know that. <clears throat> I'm just kind of, you know, like Lozen, yeah, yeah, like. Kind of nod and do a little bit of wink, like you definitely want to go with that. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll take the Lozen for that. Uh, I, I have a question about the Lozen. Is it uh, uh, fresh caught? Oh, uh, yeah, we uh, we caught it out uh, this morning. Oh, good. Good, yeah. All right. Three Lozen coming right up. After that, um, they fall immediately leaving, like, the other catch is more of a rodent. More of a, Fair. More of a rodent? Oh, man, why didn't you tell me? I love, I love rat. I love rat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. rats, rats, rodents, mice, gophers, all those things, surprisingly nutritious if you gotta eat them. The trick, though, the trick is catching them. You know, you know... Uh, you guys ever wonder, you know, why you're at where you are, why, uh, or how you came to the current situation? 
feel oh, like oh, I'm uh, thinking about that right now. Man, I was there for years. Eventually, I just decided, f and you know, I'll just take it one day at a time. I used to think that until my wife left me for that fucking traitorous bastard. That's wow. Kind of neat, killer. I'm sorry to hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess while we're on the subject of uh, uh, love, um, saw you. Uh, yeah, anyone what now? Saul, you ever had a special someone in your life? Uh, I mean, when I was about, uh, 17, there was a girl. She was a very nice girl. Uh, she took, uh, 15, 15 credits, and she'd suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> she was a very nice girl. I liked her a lot. But, uh, I was very and uh, aware of our, of the status of our relationship. And, uh, yeah, never went farther than that. As you say that, uh, the, the entrees, uh, are sat down at your, uh, table. And they actually look surprisingly appetizing. Oh. They have some, wonderful. some home, like, you know, uh, like some sort of vegetables on there, some other kind of stuff. Uh, they bring out some, <clears throat> some juices. Are they are they alcoholic beverages? Uh, no, these ones are just uh, just like a random like apple juice kind of thing. Hey. Oh, okay, that's quaint. Not expired, and it smells delicious. Kind of a yeah, let's great start. Uh, have some fun with this. Yeah, you can see like people are starting to kind of line out out of the. Uh, out of the bar and starting to kind of like you know start grooving and there are now uh, kind of like police officers are kind of standing around not really looking at uh anyone in particular just in particular they're just kind of more of like being there just as a precaution kind of thing like they're more interested on out on the streets kind of thing like they're kind of guarding the police show of force kind of sitch Because it's a, a large gathering of people in this town is, uh, you know, can be bad. Damn. Yeah, so this is definitely a lot better than most of the other stuff we're usually eating. Oh, like what? What the fuck did my voice just do? <laughs> <laughs> we don't judge voices, dude. Yeah, I know. God damn. Just, just... <laughs> like what? <laughs> God, I, I did not joke. hit her. I did not. Fuck, I if I could do Tommy was, uh, oh, if I could do his axe and I would. <laughs> well, mostly you're always dealing with the uh, vermin part, but we get bigger and catch us sometimes, but yeah. It's always kind of other creatures from the ground. Mostly go for the rivers. Fish is always good. I usually have to fight when you uh, catch you. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I can't imagine what uh, your guys' lives have been like on your own, drifting around and all. Seems rough. Yeah, could be worse. I think the worst part is like competitors and other shit for food. Mostly the other tribes and shit. At the same time, we're we're in the best of luck though, because we got a fair amount of ships. I say ships, a few ships more a fucking canoe for some. Makes hey, if it floats on water, it's a ship. And until that thing comes biting through the fucking bottom of it, they can do that. They got teeth. They get aggressive sometimes. If something's hungry enough, it's gonna come fuck you either way. I believe. Huh, alright. <clears throat> uh, 
oh man, this uh, this ain't that bad. It's losin, I think you guys call it. Yeah. Aggressive, but usually when you catch one, if it's a, you know, a parent, they usually stick with each other for life, so they'll be right there to drive and back up the other. So, uh, you got a two for one deal if you manage to kill them both? Usually, that's why you gotta be careful when you catch them, because, like I said, you gotta be ready to fight them fuckers. Of course, of course. We saw what happened to Saul. Vicious yeah. little fucking monsters. And he had some good, uh, well, fishing line there. It's just unfortunate that the rod was on the little cheaper side. Saw how that shit exploded on camera. Yeah, so, so going back on it, why'd you uh, hold on to the rod? Couldn't you just let go and stay on? Oh, well, you know, what? I, I sort of held on to the rod because I didn't realize... It would be a gigantic fucking monster fish on the other side of it. I thought it was some kind of regular sized fucking fish. You know, if I if I had known that there would be a gigantic monster fish that was gonna yank my ass into the water and then rip my leg to pieces, you know, I might have let go. I might have let go of the rat, you know? Saul, <laughs> Saul, the thing was strong enough to, to knock you off balance, right? You could have let yeah. go at any moment okay. then. Okay, okay. You, 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 you're misunderstanding the span of time here in which these, this event occurred. It's it's more like, it yanked me, I stumbled, and then I fell out of the... F it's, it's not like, it yanked me, I'm like, oh, wow, that was weird, and then it yanked me out of the boat. It was like a very quick uh, series of events, you know? Sure. Sure, Saul. What do you, what do you mean? What, what does the sure mean? Like I'm I'm the one who got yanked out of the fucking boat. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> as you say, as you sure? as you say I mean, that, uh, <laughs> as you say that, uh, three women walk up to the table. Hey, hey. What I'm saying, Saul, is, you you know, Saul, that was pretty brave of you holding on to that rod there. Holding on to your, uh, uh, your old cat. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate that, you know. I mean, it's not every day you get to you get to fight a losin in the water like that. <laughs> yeah, turn him <laughs> off, you fucking <laughs> <into> fish. <laughs> Went right into, uh, right after him, saving him up. Had the life preserver ready. Uh, oh, good times. So three, three, uh, three women uh, walk up to your table. Um, you start to notice that a lot more people are like going down to like the dance dance floor air quotes <laughs> um and uh, three women walk up to your table uh the one that walks up to josh looks like this i mean you can see it uh kind of slender slender uh frame um dark hair i'm wearing kind of a traditional uh like fiesta kind of outfit for uh, this region. <clears throat> the one that approaches John Dodo. Yeah, Dodo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is uh, this woman? I uh, can't really see her, but <clears throat> she's kind of blurred out. But she has a uh, very. Uh, I don't know how to see it. Oriental features? Yeah. Uh, she, she an anime bitch? No, she's just Asian. I would never put an anime bitch in one of my games. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair point. Boobs oh, too God, big shit. for their fucking body size. <laughs> Looks uh, like their br back should be fucking breaking, but the fucking gravity just doesn't work on them. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, it's gonna be one of those nights. All right. Uh, she has a long, uh, 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 you can kind of see right here, kind of like a ponytail reaching down to her back. And then this woman is the one that approaches Saul. It's exactly Daddy's type. Hot. Uh, very uh, tribal looking, obviously. 
um, a face tattoo that goes down all the way to her neck, and she's kind of wearing a uh, a revealing dress to where you can see where the tattoo kind of goes all the way down to her uh, like lower right breast, kind of like cuts off right there. Uh, wearing two kind of really big earrings, piercings all over the place, very thick individual. That isn't fat, but just thick with two C's. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. And they uh, walk up to you and they're like, "Would you boys like to dance?" I would love to. Uh, I. I, I would love to dance, but unfortunately, I was injured earlier with my battle with a Lozen, so uh, I can't dance quite right now. This lady will just grab you by the hand and like pull you onto the dance floor. Oh, oh god! <laughs> oh, I can't dance! <laughs> I would never turn god. down a beautiful lady. We're gonna fucking die. 100%. Yeah, and there's all these people. Like dancing. Breaking a move. You know, a lot of these dancing customs are probably not <laughs> familiar to you. to the other two. If you have, uh, you know, <laughs> the moves that are currently hit and in with in with the uh, the younger crowds. Oh my god. Oh my and a new jam starts playing. Uh, you see some people start popping some molly off in the back of the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a pretty fun time. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, Danny, whatever yeah. you do, you totally should not take any drugs and go off on a fucking bender, sir. <laughs> By that, I mean do it. Let's see what happens this time. I'm really tempted. <laughs> okay, right, man, I see you look at us. Come here, come here. Do what Saul yeah, right. would do, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Saul's going She's over. Like, uh, sorry. Here, man. Oh, no. He'll, like, oh, slap. Very generous of you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Ow. Oh, my God. Yes. Uh, make me an endurance <laughs> check. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, not endurance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Last uh, fucking one, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my oh, god! god. Oh, <laughs> this dude's gonna have a fucking allergic reaction. He doesn't even get high. He's fucking oh. done. Oh. Oh, god. You guys... He just fucking curls up like a spider crippled on the floor. So you guys are, uh, you know, oh, all doing your thing on the dance floor. Uh, so you get back to uh, the woman here. Um, and you don't know what's coming over you, but you're turning into like a party animal. You're dishing out moves that you've never seen or heard of before. Um, oh, they man. they may they may look good, they may not look good. It depends on the uh, the rules that are gonna <laughs> happen uh, in a second. <laughs> oh boy. Um. In theory, everyone, they probably look great. <laughs> everyone, uh, roll me a carouse check. Oh, fuck, we're done. Um, God, what is that? So and, social? Uh, yeah. And then, uh, Danny, you don't get the normal pen penalty, and you get a, uh, what is it? A boon. Oh, boy. I'm going to tell you full disclosure here. Uh, try to follow you in the dance moves. Let's just see how that goes. I got a seven. I got a six. Wow. That's not totally uh, garbage. All right. Yeah, your, your guys' moves aren't, uh, aren't that bad. Uh, you know, you're kind of keeping up with the... 
uh, with the ladies and uh, the kind of the people around you. Um, go ahead and make me one more. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Fuck, Saul is in his element! <laughs> Fucking scared right now. <laughs> Alright, uh, John Dodo, you start to kind of lose the lose the touch as the, uh, the tracks kind of... Uh, it's the same track, but <laughs> as the tracks start to, uh, <laughs> like, change. But it doesn't matter, because all the attention is on Sal Ratman. <laughs> Ratman. Ratman. Clearly I was distracted by Ratman going fucking hard. Yeah. <laughs> describe describe uh, this crazy party animal of uh, uh, Sal. How is, he, how is he grasping the audience? Standing around you in like a dance circle. Like, so, 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 so. <laughs> oh my god. Um, the, it's it's some of the most uh, energetic and just... Um, fuck, what is it? He's, he's putting a lot of passion <coughs> and energy into the moves he's doing, which is, seems like it's probably trying to be breakdancing, but he's got a fucked up leg, so it gives <laughs> like, double. <laughs> But somehow he turns the stumble into like a roll or a flip, and it just works. <laughs> <laughs> when you do that, uh, you kind of come back up, and your hair kind of like. Do you have like longer hair or like shorter hair? Probably shortish. Shortish. Well, either way, the sweat. Uh, on your brow and it's kind of in between your hair kind of flits out onto the crowd <laughs> you kind of had that like that that glow behind you of light of just like you know you know i'm talking about like those shots in movies so they'll like do something like badass and they'll just kind of like gracefully yeah. hand to their face and there's just like that bright light behind them. yeah fucking step up shit or whatever. yeah yeah that happens to sound everyone's like <gasps> <laughs> Hot damn! Uh, and then <clears throat> uh, as that happens, you <clears throat> start to see the lights. Flickering, the uh, music starts to kind of come in and out, kind of distorted. Everyone's just kind of like, wow, what's going on? And then eventually all the lights kind of turn off, and then you hear that the generator outside also uh, is shut off. That's a buzzkill. Uh, oh, like, man. What's going on? What's going on? Everyone's it was like, like jam. Say, say call, say call. It's all right. It's uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, um, it's all right. And then some of the police officers walk in. And they're like, "Remember, folks, today's uh, today's mandatory energy conservation day. We're shutting down early." Everyone's like. Wow, wow. <laughs> the bar owner is like, why did I know about this, Paul? You fucking jackass. <laughs> like, oh, that's not me, it's Papa. You know how it is. And they just start bantering back and forth. Everyone starts to kind of like disperse. Uh. But uh, this chick definitely wants. She's definitely staying by you, uh, Sal. Uh, the other chicks you guys lose in the crowd. Oh darn it! No. Uh, I take the first opportunity I can to sort of sneak off alone with this bitch. Right. <laughs> yep. 
The D is done. You guys probably don't see Sal for, a, Sal for about an hour. I can say five minutes, all right. Nah, Sal's got stamina. <laughs> the drugs kicked him. <laughs> that agency's <laughs> keeping him going, boy. Functioning. Yeah, you guys, you guys, uh, um, maybe you guys finally make your guys' way up to the room and you see this woman, uh, kind of like walk out. She's like, oh, hi there. And walks back downstairs. Yeah, that was not the accent that I had pictured for her. Yeah, that's not what it was. That's definitely not the accent. I couldn't think of anything. It's a walk of shame. <laughs> hey, Dermot, did you see what happened to uh, the two ways with us? I think they kind of lost interest after the party step. Well, fuck. Wish I got her name. She seemed pretty cool. Oh, uh, let's go check out what happened to Saul. Hey, oh, yeah, did you catch the chick definitely uh, gave you her name and What was that? Uh, they gave Sal the, ch the name and number of the chick. All right. Nice. Lucky Sal. I'm going to go into my, uh, my contacts list. Have a phone. Big booty bitch. <laughs> this can be Big as... tribal ally. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, this, uh, put, like, romantic interest or contact or something. I don't know. Side hoe. I don't know. Go nuts with man tick liaison. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> uh, what, is, what is the name of this planet we're on again? Fuck. Hazel? <laughs> Hazel. Hazel. Yeah, Dermov, uh, did you catch Saul pop some pills? I kind of fucked off for a bit. I figured he'd be fine. Right, right. Usually not something too crazy, just for fun. Well, uh, we should probably check on him, right? Yeah, probably. Alright, let's go. Yeah, that's when the lady would come out. I don't know, I don't know what the fuck her accent It's not a southern black lady. What up, you know, was it for? Yeah, like. Part, like heavy, heavy, uh. Tribal wax. Heavy tribal wax. Uh, you'd probably recognize if Josh is uh, probably one of, like, the, the coastal tribes. God damn. Well, not coastal. Uh. Like the ones that are set up like near the lake. Mm. Uh, that makes a lot of sense, but that was gonna be an interesting one. I imagine he's probably passed out here. Yeah, fucking did you see the moves he was busting back there, man? With a gimp leg, you know? Oh, you gonna be feeling fucking hurt and sore in the morning, but still feeling pretty good, I imagine. Ah, damn. Well, I think you want to do, Dermar, we want to call it a night. Yeah. I don't think there's really much to do around here. Uh, especially with the fucking military skirting around. Probably best to keep low, especially with the energy conversation. Uh, being conserved for the time being. Last thing you want to do is piss them off. Yeah, low profile probably pretty uh smart right about now, especially with that uh incident Hosey mentioned earlier with uh, the last three uh employees. Yeah. I would imagine he's probably already being watched or some shit. So I'd say it's safe to assume everyone makes the way back to the room. Yep. Yes. <clears throat> Alright. Some time goes. In the middle of the night, off in the distance, you start to hear small arms fire towards the outskirts of the town, away from the harbor. Oh, and also, yeah, in the harbor. 
and probably wakes jolts you guys up. That sounds like some good fighting there. Yeah. Yep. Hey, are you fucking spooning me right now? Hey, get my arm's like Jesus Christ. Hey, get comfortable. Pussy just lets out a big old fart. Is Saul still fucking drugged out of his fucking gourd, or is he good? It's probably worn out. That's like okay. Maybe, Maybe in the crashing up now. Maybe in the crashing mood. Oh, he did roll. It did roll a zero. <laughs> <laughs> He's in full shutdown. Burn What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, Jeremoff, it's the insurgents fighting the military here, right? That's a conflict. Yeah, that are one of the tribes. If they get pretty fucking pepped up and aggressive. Right, right. Hey, did you happen to hear anything about uh, our mission? You know, the thing Hosey was on about? Ship coordinates or whatever in the lake somewhere? heard a little bit about that but uh didn't dig too deep because i assume that especially with the uh the lady f friend with us we didn't exactly want to be uh kicking up too much attention right away absolutely just wonder if you knew anything beforehand uh any place we can probably start looking ahead of time well there's definitely a few spots on along the lake and other areas that they definitely don't yeah. want anyone around Chasing the tribes off immediately. Right. I don't mean just military. I mean like some spots that are a little like sketch. Of course, of course. This is a uh, somewhat of a backwater planet after all. Dangers to be expected. Yeah. <clears throat> now, do you happen to know any contacts of a sort around here that might have some info we could use? Cause I feel like at this point we gotta get intelligence, right? Get a rough idea of where we need to start searching. I got a few ideas, but I definitely have uh, a lot of enemies. Uh, not really any friends left. <laughs> right, right, because you had the guy who took your wife. Yeah, fucking... Oh, God. <laughs> My head hurts. I was awake. Is it the morning or am I dead? Uh, well, it ain't the morning. I mean, if you're going by like standard of maybe you were fucking a succubus, maybe. But then again, those traps women of ours is uh, oh, pretty fuck, hard dude, I'm, Man, I'm I might have been. That was a hell of a night. How's your leg feeling? Uh it really hurts. I feel like feels kind of like I walked like a couple miles on it. Yeah, it seems about right. Yeah. Dance pretty much. Also, like, hard. my legs and my hips and, like, my core and, like, everything is really sore. And I can't quite explain why. Yeah, so uh, check this shit out. Not for the hips and all that, but the leg, this might explain it. I'll show him a video of him fucking busting the move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Whoa. I've never done anything like like. Hey, you also did that night? Uh, that chick right there. Oh, hi, damn. Oh, shit, I remember now. <laughs> Holy fuck. Those tattoos go, like, all the way. <laughs> That's, it's amazing. Oof, man. You get into travels or something? I mean, I guess now. Shit. Fair enough. <laughs> he definitely was last night. <laughs> Uh, so man, oh, I don't know if you guys noticed either, but she had a she had a tongue piercing too. That was that was fun to figure out. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The uh, the the gunshots go off and on for about uh, twenty minutes. 
eventually dies down. And then in the morning, in the morning, the the lights and stuff. Uh, the utilities within the department start to get back on and start working. Uh, that was a wonderful night. Hey, figured us some out right here. Uh, Dermov, there was a generator outside. Uh, there was. If the barkeep owned it, <laughs> and I'm having enough thing to her, it's probably more of a lights out kind of thing than a uh, conserved power. I'm uh, thinking on uh, possible weaponry too. Yeah. Yeah, lights on. Something like that. You know, you're basically being like the perfect target in the middle of the night for them to set down ordnance square on wherever the light is. Fair, fair. Well, we got a we got a long day ahead of us, full of opportunity. Probably get our business wrapped up in this uh, place. Head on out back to the boat. <clears throat> So as you guys, you know, everything gets charged to the company card. Woo! Uh, of course. I really want, like, money to, like, get a company card and, like, just like, hand it to you guys. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Run and spend everything. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's not a good idea. Um... So you guys come down, confidentially, or you get like a free breakfast, um, all that good stuff. And maybe when you guys are outside, you see a familiar face. Oh no. It's the reporter, I guess. That's That's Cameron. Carmen's cameraman. Fuck. He looks his clothes are torn and he's bleeding from his stump. Bleed from a stump? No, he's bleeding okay. from his stomach. <laughs> oh stomach, sorry. <laughs> uh, he's like first. he's yeah. like putting his hand on like the side of the wall. Please help. Someone help. Oh my god. What happened to him? Hey, you looking like shit. John's gonna like look around see if there's anyone else that can deal with this shit. You, you know? That kind of like head turn. There's, there's some cops, but they don't look like they're interested in doing it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look out just sort of at the general crowd. Hey, is there a doc? This guy's hurt. Uh, I got rid of a hangnail one. Does that count? Oh, God. oh, here's an important question. Do I see that Asian chick in the crowd? Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta impress the ladies. Alright, so I'll see what I can do. Let's go. It's like, oh, help. Anyone, please. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, John Dodo's here. What do you need? You just look at him, he's just covered in blood. <laughs> yeah, I, also, I think he's a, he's a doctor, let John. Let me uh, get you cleaned up a bit. Fun, like a first aid kit is to roll medic. <laughs> yeah, roll medic. Uh, and basically just to stop the bleeding. So. Yeah, stop bleeding. The the basic shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's fucking dead. Fucking oh, six. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you remember you're supposed to keep oh. pressure on the wound. <laughs> you're not you're supposed, supposed to pull it out. You're supposed to push it in. Calm down, calm down. It's merchant navy shit. You're good. You live. Where's, uh, where's your part? <coughs> it spits up some blood. <sighs> Taken. <sighs> we're, out last, we're out last night. <sighs> Getting some footage. And now, now we're, <sighs> these guys came up behind us. And got the jump on us. I, I barely got away. Then basically, 
trying to find my way back. It's on the outskirts of the fighting start. No, no, the military or cops would help. They told me to keep running to the town. <clears throat> I lost my fucking camera, man. All those six shots on the boat. Gone. I think your power oh, is man, more important than the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Carmen. <sighs> I know, uh, I know we asked uh, a lot of you guys already, but <clears throat> Carmen, uh, she comes from a pretty prestigious family. She doesn't like to talk about it, but uh, I'm sure if you were able to help her to get some, whoever did would be rewarded very ha handsomely. Okay. Sounds like a good thing to get deeper with boss man. Yeah. There's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna help you up. We're gonna get you someplace to rest, probably right in this establishment. Then we're gonna see what we can do. How's that sound? That sounds good. Alright. Alright. Alright, one, two, three, up sit down. <laughs> This boy. Yeah. Hunter Pop. Just take a liver and everything. Yeah, we'll like carry him to somewhere you can set him down. Let's set him in a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <clears throat> See ever. You ever hear of the Starlink Merchant Factors? Have I heard about that? Uh, these are new characters, so they aren't part of OC would know. Uh, I guess you would explain to y'all um, that <clears throat> they had a job with them and delivered electronics to the pro I don't know if y'all remember that. Gotcha. Out of character. Been a while. It was like one of the deals that... Uh, I remember the exact reason yeah. for it. It was like but, information, I think, was the goal. Yeah, something like that. And then you guys basically just delivered it to the Pearl. It was like you had the, you had the electronics and then you had the slaves. Yep. And then, you know, you just handed off the electronics and, you know, the lot of cargo. God damn. Uh, her father's a uh, pretty high member of their company. <clears throat> Who knows what he could get? Honestly, I don't trust any of these cops here. I think they're out, out to get us. You guys kind of trespass in places you weren't supposed to go. You violate some laws and all that. Yeah. People have the right to know what's going on. Yeah, Maybe so they can sense to So we got chased by a... couple of police officers right when you walked away from... We got away, but we got a few followed them. that these people would try to fucking kill us though. All right, I need to know as much as you know about what happened. Where did it go down and what did you see? Um, so basically he'll uh, say it happened on the outskirts of, <laughs> of town. Not directly near like the fighting. Um Kind of off in the, in the distance. Um, oh, here comes. And they were shooting some uh, footage, and uh, he believes that about possibly three to four uh, 
Louis' men came up behind them and uh, hit him on the side of their head with blunt objects. And then he tried to like fight back, and that's when he got. And then uh, that's when he was running away. But he remembers seeing them like dragging her, what he believes to be uh, east. That's a good enough lead to go off of. Excuse me, uh, barkeep. Uh, sure, Could you make sure. Over. Could you make sure this man gets some uh, proper medical care? I can throw down a couple credits if he needs some. Yeah. Well, I, can talk, I can take him over to local clinic. They should be opening in about it. Alright, thanks. Have a couple of people like pick them up and start taking them over there. Right, everyone make a recon check. Oh boy. They're gonna fucking kill that boy. Oh, now I roll good, sweet. Oh, hey, it's one of the few things that I'm actually not terrible in, except that I am. <laughs> All right, Dermot and John, you notice that uh, when the um, when they kick him past, like some police officers, they're looking a little. Kind of a little sketch. Um, you see them start to kind of not really follow them, but kind of just like watching what they're doing, not really asking to see if he's like okay or anything, and they're just kind of making some faces towards each other. That's not good. And they just kind of walk off. Well, shit. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I'm cool. See that, guys? <laughs> Mr. Mob, saw you guys catch that? I definitely did. They didn't look too happy Shit. knowing that he was alright. Yeah. See, I was hoping, right, the insurgents would have done something, but nope, it doesn't seem to be the case. At least, as far as we can tell. Yeah, But, all right, everyone huddle right quick, you, me, us all together. Yeah. Here's the situation, right? If we want to rescue Carmen for as reward, we would be sticking our nose where it doesn't belong. That's step one. Step two is we have no real weapons or ability to fight if we go too far deep, you know? We also don't really owe her anything. Our business has been concluded. That said, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of inclined to try to help, you know? What about you two? I'm inclined to be trusted and also helping my boss be a little more impressed with our help. Alright, and you saw, though, I mean, keep in mind, it, you got the bum leg. Yeah. Right, okay. So what I'm thinking is we go to the scene, if we can, about where all this went down. Figure out who's occupying the area, whether it's insurgents or the law. We make some judgments then, push east, try to follow our trail, go from there. One option we got to dispose for is we could attempt to blackmail law enforcement if we can acquire that footage. 
I'm still there. I might have a tool on me that can help in acquiring information. That'd be the probably smartest way to play it. Quiet, get the info we need, use blackmail, get Carmen out. No questions asked. And we can, of course, have some checks and balances and shit. Where the person has to give the intel up. Yeah, it goes either in a pair or alone, and if anything bad happens to him, we release it publicly. Um, and maybe hightail it off this fucking planet. But I don't think the boss is going to be inclined to agree with that. But really, it shouldn't come to that, right? Right. I think we can at least get the camera from them, send them some information to the family. That might be even more inclined to the reward if we can't get the other. Yes, sir, but if I had to pick between the camera and Carmen, I'd take Carmen. You can always get a new foot, a new person, kind of harder to come by. True enough. So main main ass on the prize of getting her out. Correct. Well, we might need the information to get her out safely. Granted, we can just slip on in, grab her, and go. That's easy. But either way, we got a plan. We got to check out the scene of the crime first. Right. Yeah. Let's go All right, let's get a move on then, boys. Good talk. We'll uh, stop huddling in the fucking laundry room, I guess, and uh, <laughs> up hike. start walking. Right. <laughs> Who's going chicken hunt? We's going chicken hunt. <laughs> so yeah, you guys uh, get to where he like described the spot. And it's on like the very outskirts of the town, to where this part of the town has been almost completely abandoned. <clears throat> And there's not a big military presence here either. Um, like there's a couple of law enforcement walking around, but they see you, they don't really they don't really say anything. Um, and then this so this you guys are So you guys are on the east side where there's just a bunch of kind of mostly ruined buildings and kind of abandoned fortifications uh, kind of set up. And along there is a road that kind of goes this way and it kind of goes up north. And on the other side is a dried up creek with some rocky hills behind. And from what you understand is they were kind of walking along this creek. Um, and then that's when they kind of got the on them. Boys Creek is right there. We said we head on over. Don't seem too uh, uh, investigative, I guess. Give me a proper term. See if anything sticks out, then probably check over the hills. Talk plan. Sure. If you guys got suggestions, I'm all about hearing them. It's gonna be a little bit tough. I'm sure the military is gonna probably still be sweeping over that shit. Yeah. And on that, uh. Tell you what, Saul, you wanna keep watch? Well, Dermot, you look pretty big and intimidating. Now, uh, do the investigative bit. Uh, yeah, sure. Should I uh, roll and investigate around the creek area? Uh, sure. All right. If 
it's a thing I'm good at. Kind of. Allegedly. Holy fuck. <laughs> Allegedly, he says. <clears throat> so you start kind of uh, searching the area. Um, off to where the... <clears throat> so on the other side of the creek, towards the hills, there's kind of like this... Uh, uh, rusted sign. Um, can't read it. I know this. Can't read it now. Um, it's kind of bent. And underneath that, you see some uh, almost like cigarette butts, kind of around. They look pretty fresh. And you see very clear, um, kind of like. Uh, footprints. Uh, there. <coughs> and then, if you go down to the creek a little bit, you actually a trail of blood um, in the uh, creek bed area. Going back to the town. Okay, okay, boys, come over here. I think I got some. So, Footprints, yeah. trail of blood. As soon as you feel the cameraman limping back to town, right? Now, Dermov, you're a wild man, right? Mm. Living out in the wilderness. Yeah. Can you track? I damn well try. Right. See if you can find anything that looks like someone being dragged. Let's see where it goes. So you're the one looking at right? Yeah. Roll me a recoup check. Oh boy. See, I was hoping your uh your bonus here would help. Oh fuck us, right in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same fucking result as last time. God damn it. All right. So you feel a sharp tip uh at the back of your neck. God damn it. Oh. You here? What are you doing here, boy? Uh. Uh, you know, just enjoying the air. Hanging out. Your friends down there, what are they looking for? Spare change? So, kind of like press it, press it like harder on your neck. Ow. Okay, okay, fine. Sorry, sorry. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to be funny. Um, we're, uh, we're looking for a reporter. Got, uh, nabbed. Kidnapping? Yeah. When, when does the alleged kidnapping, kidnapping happen? Uh, roll me a recon check, I guess. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Cause this is got why y'all are, like, busy, uh, doing your thing. Uh, it happened, uh, yesterday. I got a 12. Alright, so a couple of things. Let me release it. Uh, oh, God. So who are you with? The, uh, the two guys down there. No, fool. You belong to a tribe. You live in a city. I mean... Some sort of bounty hunter. We're off worlders. I I did I I just I just hired on with these guys. I don't know, they work uh, for like a we work for like a space I got hired like a couple days ago. Um This is when John you'd see um he's kind of uh a figure standing behind um, your boy, uh, Saul. And you see him, like, you know, talking, but he's looking towards you guys. Hey, Dermov, don't look now. Guy behind Saul. Pretty sure they mean business. You see how many? I think it's only one. Bound to be more, though. Probably. 
Now they're somewhere who's trying to keep an eye on somebody else. Yep. <laughs> I'm really in arms, you. I know how to handle myself. Uh, just right, let me do some talking and try to get, make it clip. You try. All right. I'm, I'm going to be uh, checking out and see if uh, I can make it seem like I'm tracking him, try and break the line of sight and come around him again. Okay. All right. Yeah. Head off on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three. And John will get up and start walking right. towards the dude. Yeah. Alright, so before you get up and start walking, yeah, I'm going back to, to them. So what's your name? Oh, is that to me? To, yeah, to you. Oh. Uh, my name is Saul. Saul Ratman. What is, uh, what's your name, mysterious person? Person with a sharp thing to my neck. <clears throat> did you, uh, did you disappear? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to look at what I did. I <laughs> Which, like many fathers before him, he had to go buy some cigarettes. Says, <laughs> can I trust you, Saul? I mean, of course. You see, my name is Paul Dina, and you'll feel the uh, sharp leather blade that was come off your neck. Um, and this, I guess, is when, uh, John, I this is him. Yeah, John. Yep, John Dodo. Starts, uh, walking towards you, and, uh, you see this as well. And what you guys see is... Oh, God. A woman with a spear. Hello. <laughs> I've never been so happy to be captured in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like in solid tribals. <laughs> Apparently uh, he has a thing now. So she is uh, actually roll me a education check. I guess this would uh yeah, everyone roll an education check. He's a fucking space elf. Yeah! There's not a way I could ever figure this out. Uh, no, they're not. They're not, uh, native to this planet. Yeah. I think the rolls reflect that, actually. Oh, yeah, no, the, ro the rolls are gonna reflect that a lot when they're not. Okay, uh, you recognize, well, both of you recognize this woman as a Dangcha. How do you spell that? You wanna, you wanna spell it? Or Dai, Dai, Dangcha? Dangcha. Dangcha, I think. When we cast. <laughs> Dangcha, Dangcha, Dangcha. I think that, I don't know, I think that's what he's going to do. Dainchia? 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 Dainchia or something? Dainchia. Dainchia, Dainchia, I don't know. Don't you? <laughs> um. <clears throat> this is a... They're often uh, mistaken for what uh, the Dominions would call the Elder. Which is basically the, uh, like elite of the elite of the Dominion. Like they're the, the ones, they're the ones that uh, basically created the first, uh, like they were there when the uh, Dominion started and they were the ones that 
went out and started taking control of planet after planet after planet. And they started controlling so much that <clears throat> they just started using the other races for everything. Like mainly the humans. Fuck. Um, and all the other kind of stuff. <clears throat> but, uh, so they're kind of like... Keep going, fucking... So they're the ones that are sitting on like the council and not on like, you know, these little planets in this. Those are mostly ruled by like, you know, the humans that are, are within like, like this is going to be like way back in like the homeland, um, living in like the councils and the courts and like the whole bureaucracy thing. Um, well, everyone else kind of does their work, like I said. Um, and these these people are often uh, mistaken for them, but the you guys got pretty high education. Is the elders are a lot more pale, and their skin's almost completely white, and they're freakishly tall. Um, they stand at about uh, eleven feet. Uh, the uh, Eldar, not the... the, the, the yeah, yeah, the Elders. Um, sorry. <coughs> like Chrome's going hard, sorry. holy shit. I keep, uh, keep Chrome calm. Die. Um, and these, these are basically like... their cousins to them. If that makes sense? Like, you know how there's, like, basically like a subspecies. Gotcha. Um, they don't really have a big, uh, homeland that anyone did. When you meet them, they're usually, um, vagabonds, uh, people that are just kind of traveling, nomad almost. I'm just kind of doing whatever their heart kind of wheels them to do. Gotcha. Uh, and they usually stand at about 6'5", uh, 7 foot is like the average. Kind of slender frame, but also, i say more like most of them have like athletic kind of, kind of frame. And gotcha. other than that, uh, big thing is, would there be a easy reason why they would be on this planet? Or they like definitely said, like they're drifters. like yeah. Uh, yeah, they're just drifters, basically. Gotcha. So like um, probably sometimes, forgot. sometimes they'll um have like a like a tribe or like a clan that they're with, and other times maybe like the outcasted ones. Uh, or kind of always... uh, she stands at about uh, six six. And you can see she is pretty burly. Well, uh, hi there. My name's John Dodo. Uh, pleasure to meet. So kind of like give you like a suspicious, suspicious eye, and she'll kind of like plant her her spear in the ground. Uh, John, this so is so uh... John Dodo and Saul. Hi. Where do you? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, what? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was looking at you away. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look over here for now. Um, he says, your friend here says something you're looking about. You're looking uh, for a report. That's uh, very interesting, but I have a question if you'd uh, oblige me. Are you attached to the insurgency and or military for 
universe on this planet in any way. I don't think I'm inclined to answer that question. Yep, that's a fair point. So we're here looking for a reporter named Carmen. See, her uh, daddy's a pretty high-ranking member of this uh, merchant company. Can give a pretty juicy reward. Uh, if uh, if we can find her. Turns out her uh, partner <coughs> was limping back to town all bloodied up, funny enough, uh, last night, or early this morning. And now we're here. Josh, you see uh, John talking to them. Do you walk uh, to them, or do you still try to like... Oh, I might still be gone right now, but I remember he did say he was going to go like... Yeah, I was going to like fucking fall tracks or some shit to go break line of sight, then sneak up or some shit. I think that was his goal. Oh. oh. That's more of a Josh question. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> yeah, have any clues yet? Uh, depends. Why do you want to know about the clues? See, I'm just a little concerned for my life and by extension, Saul's. No offense, of course. If I wanted Saul here to be dead, I wouldn't have to listen to him squawk for about a minute or so. That's a fair point as well. Currently, uh, we may have found some tracks and we found signs of struggle from the nights they got jumped. Where are these tracks heading? That's what we're currently working on. I'd hazard a guess it's going to go over the hills, but that's just me. <sighs> guess. Well, we are heading east towards the hills. Looks like we're heading in the same direction. Cool, cool. Uh, would you happen to tell me your name? Yes, it is Paulinda. Paulinda. Nice name. Well, I guess if we're not uh, actively trying to hurt each other, which is great, big fan, uh, let's uh, get track. So kind of curious is you plan on uh, saving this woman with what? I don't see any weapons on you. See, I was thinking about pulling some uh, some uh, kind of schemey shit. If you think about it. See, I'm pretty sure it's the military behind this that grabbed her. Because she's been snooping around in places she really shouldn't have gone. It's fun. And I figure if I can get evidence, both from what they've been gathering, because I think they took the camera too, now I'd still be intact. I can pull some data from that and use a couple of bugs I may have on me to get some uh, info from that. That'd be good blackmail material, and I can use that to get her out. Maybe. Well, I'm not in the government finding business. I am heading up east because uh, I've got to pay some people up there a visit. Stole something of mine. A couple things. Livelihood, really. And, uh, well, I'm probably like 95% sure it's those scumbags. I'm going up there just to uh, check things out. And if they do have what, uh, what I'm missing. Plan on taking it back. I assure you, a piece, there's no military up there. That's tribal lands. Military, they go up there, they don't, uh. There's this whole, whole thing with the sovereignty. You respect these tribes' sovereignty. You know, you know, they do step on them, step on their toes. If you do find tracks, they're heading up east. Suggest you find some weapons. 
tribal members don't take kindly to uh, Out trespassers. Trespassers, yeah. And guess who has some weapon? You. Oh, yes. But that's only if, uh, you know, our goals uh, align. Of course, of course. Well, it has been a pleasure talking with you, Paulinda. That's just kind of like wipe her nose. Kind of give like a stern look. Hey, you uh, notice Dermo. that she also has like these piercings in her forehead. Gotcha. And a shaved, well, like shaved head right here with some hair coming down. It's both both sides. Josh is still here. I just get back, yeah. Right. Are we still trying to sneak up behind them? Or? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, just curious <laughs> of the situation. Okay, for me a stealth check. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> And as you say that, uh, like, and the tiger friend over there that I've seen him try to sneak up on us. I was about to do that, to be honest. Yeah, Dermov, Dermov, we're good. <coughs> All right, as long as she's not cutting anyone down, then. She'll walk over, so. Get a tracker. Probably the better one that it'll get, yeah. What tribe do you belong? I don't really belong to anyone anymore. I've kind of tried to wash my hands a little bit of it and trying to get off this planet. Looks like we're in the same boat. Oh, I was telling them if uh, your tracks head east, that's where I'm heading. And, uh, you know, them tribal folks up in the east don't, don't really like trespassers. No, they do not. We'll swing by my place, uh, if you guys wish. Pick up some extra uh, equipment, if you put like air quotes. It's not much, but it's what I've uh, been able to s over the years. I think we should definitely take her up on that offer. Indeed. Yeah, it's a you good. good How you doing, Saul? A what? How you doing? You seem a little rattled still. <laughs> I, I mean, she had a spear to the back of my neck, uh, and and then I turn around and she's. Well, her, you know. It's a, it's a very confusing cocktail of emotions going on through my brain right now. All right. Yeah. We want to have that uh, cocktail of emotions a little quieter. But, uh, yeah, we should definitely take her up on the off. Yeah. I agree. Right. I must roll that survival for the tricks. I definitely will. I think you have a good survival. I can't remember. What's, what is your survival? <clears throat> Three. That's better than mine. Yeah, that's better than mine as well. You're the tracker now. Well, let's see how bad my dice hold out. <laughs> Hot oh, days. Nice. Yeah, you quickly uh, pick up a trail of at least people heading east. Um, definitely, uh, you can see drag marks uh, as well of uh, another person heading up into the hills. Let's 
definitely the path. Maybe a bunker somewhere that they're holding up. It'd be easy enough to follow. Well, let's swing by my place real quick. Don't mind it. It's uh, nothing fancy, but it is. How long have I been here? Five years worth of work. Doesn't add up to much in this time. This, this planet, you know that. I'm sure these other two might be uh, maybe okay. They didn't seem to do bad last night. <laughs> She'll, uh... She also lives on the outskirts now, but on the, uh, farther east. Um, and she takes you to her place. Um, you notice that, uh... <laughs> Thank you. She has a kind of ranch kind of system set up to where she has a house on kind of like on this small slope and then below it um, there's the fences along the borders um, and you can see um, different animals like it's not a big operation at all like it's maybe like two to three acres uh, and the house looks like it's fall she probably moved into a house that was uh, like abandoned. Hmm. <clears throat> um, and Josh, uh, you see some animals that may or may not look familiar. Maybe education. Or would I make you roll last time survival? Uh, yeah, I think survival does have IDing animals in it. Yeah, roll me a survival. You notice these animals as cliffhangers. Speaking of cliffhangers, we're calling it here now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna post a picture in the Discord. I'm expecting something terrifying. Oh, never mind. No. Well, that was kind of cute. Uh, so you know these as cliffhangers. Surprisingly animal um, on this land uh, without much for places without much land resembling a tubby goat in many ways the cliffhanger is extremely agile and perched on near vertical rocky surfaces that would daunt an experienced human climber the hangers have a sharp claws that can be used for self-defense but are generally peaceful creatures who have few natural predators they are herded on some worlds by airborne by airborne drones. I guess you wouldn't know that part. The though lower tech societies have to rely rely on daring climber herds unless they're kind of like transport some cliffhangers from form loose herds in the wild. Generally, use their difficult home environment for protection rather than deliberate measures. Uh, they are capable of surviving on a minimal diet and very poor quality vegetation for some time. Uh, but animals that become weak or sick rarely survive long as results of their dangerous habit. You see she has like three three of those no. <laughs> uh, just kind of roaming around the acreage um, with some smaller like chicken like animals and stuff. Hmm. Quaint. She says, yes, uh, in the back, there's a shed. Has a good amount of my equipment in it. But I'll show you. And then uh, she goes back in the shed. She opens it, there's a lot of different, like, tools and things like that uh, that she would need. And then she opens up a locker. In that locker, she pulls out a cartridge pistol and a coach pistol. Uh, 
the <coughs> cartridge pistol has uh, I the wrong one. sorry, pulls out a revolver, not a uh, cartridge pistol. Pulls out a revolver uh, with uh, his two magazines. Uh, two magazines, and then pulls out a coach pistol to uh, two magazines as well. Says, uh, who's good at shooting? I got some training in my background. Not amazing, but I, uh, I'm trained. Yeah. Which one? Same for me. I'm, I can shoot. Well, these are more for a, uh, yeah, just in case, you know. Of course, of course. <laughs> and, uh, uh, which ones do you guys want? So it's a coach pistol or revolver. Gotcha. I mean, I do like me a revolver. Do you have a preference, Danny? Um, no, I don't have a preference, but for whichever one I get, you'll need to fucking stats are because I don't have my PDF in uh, um, well, which one do you want then Danny the revolver so, or not Danny uh Ian yeah. well, side note Danny what's your shooting like, what uh you it's a it's a one plus one I also have a plus one alright doesn't really oh, matter oh boy <laughs> we're I'll, a couple uh, of fucking gunslingers I'll take the revolver fuck it Yes, range 10, 3D minus 3, and you can fit, fit uh, 6 bolts in it at once, and you have 12. As for Danny, you get the coach pistol, which is basically a sawed off double barrel black powder shotgun. Oh, okay. That makes perfect sense between us, actually. Fuck it. Uh, the range on that is 5. 40 minus 3 it has a magazine of 2 um, and you have uh, uh, 4 bullets with that one or four, 4 shells uh, so you there's a thing where 40 minus 3 uh, no let's go with 6 with 6 shells uh, both Barrels can be dis discharged at once, in which case the damage is 46. Um, of course, pistols require a successful gun combat slug check to reload. So if you use, if you shoot two of them at the same time, that basically takes away the minus three to the damage. Nice. Also has the trait dangerous. Perfect. Um, I gotta look at what that is. Uh, but do you need to either read off the stats? Uh, nah, I got, no, I this. got it. The revolver. Good to go. 3D minus 3 damage, 10 meter range. Nothing fan. And it's a nice little six shooter. That name's Ocelot. Revolver. Ocelot. God damn it. The name's Dodo. What's your I don't know. What's your strength? Uh, and oh, shit. I'm trying to find uh, the trait page. Uh, pages. The fuck? There's there's this tiny fucking bird right outside of my window, and it's been trying to get into my fucking house for like the last hour. What the fuck? <laughs> Maybe it's got it's a message so for weird. you. He's like, he doesn't want to catch the corona. Hmm. Look at a bear. Hey, kind of a fairy. You believe in fairies, right? <laughs> huh. You believe in fairy tales. You're in one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I gotta look at the other. 
heart. Uh, well, she'll pull out a sledgehammer and say, this is all. She's like, you look like the up close and personal kind of guy. I can make do with that. She's all right, well. Told you it ain't much, but it's more than you had before. So, uh, you know where uh, the tracks lead? What's the next step? Well, we definitely want to slowly scout it out and make sure that we're not getting sighted. Since you know the way, how we found. Definitely going with the slow and cautious route. No offense to you two, but you gotta stick out amongst the trees. Yeah, I'm not really known for sneaking, unfortunately, but I got a good pair of eyes on me. Where the odds seem to be minus five. Fucking Christ. On a side note, the sledge, I assume, is an improvised weapon. Uh. No. Uh, but it is very bulky. I didn't think about that, which means if you. You have to have a strength of 12 or higher, where you get penalty when you use it. Um, it does 46 damage. Jeez. Um, and it has the Smasher trait. Which this weapon is particularly heavy and carries a great deal of momentum. Long traveler attacked by a Smasher weapon may not attempt to parry it. Smashing, <laughs> but um, for the very bulky, um, all attack rolls will have a negative DM equal to the difference between their strength DM and plus two. So I think that would be a minus four. So I don't know if they'd be worth using. <laughs> but you have a sword, right? Yeah. Okay. And you're good. If you don't want to use the sledge. Yeah, I think I'll pass on the sledge the fucking... <coughs> as hot as that would be, the fucking... The minus four. Fucking death. The yeah. only monster is going to capitalize on it. Oh yeah, because he has strength of 12. Still can't hit show the shotgun, but let's not talk about it. Yeah, I got that now. The good old bullied scoochie. Alright, so you guys start heading toward them heels. Yes, also, tell me whenever y'all need to get off. I was pretty ill. I think me and Dane, we should probably be getting off soon just because we get up early, right? Yeah. But it's no big deal. I can go another hour. Uh, what about you, Dan? Do you want to call it quits? Um, honestly, now would probably be a good stopping for me. Okay. Get at least a little sleep. Plus, it seems like a pretty natural stopping point. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll have more characters next time. Hopefully. Yeah, fingers fucking crossed. Fucking Monty. <sighs> yeah, I thought you got the new job. I was about to be like, oh, nice. Yeah, but what was his thing? Like, 
It's for parts. Of... Okay, so he got a shift to work until nine. Okay. Wait, wait, can you just join in an hour in or some shit? Or two hours in? Probably. You probably could have, yeah. Eh, yeah, whatever, I'm not gonna question it. Eh. <sighs> just know that this helm flies without its captain. Really fucking no, dark. Second in command. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three well, randoms. Who are just hired <laughs> taking the English world. Yeah. The fucking new guys. <laughs> Dude, you don't fucking miss a shitload on, on ironically. Hmm. God damn Josh's previous character's name I totally can't remember off the top of my Oh, Penny Jack. Because he would have been entertained to consume the Lawson or whatever. You know, it would have been a sampling local delight. cuisine. <laughs> he would have been stoked as shit. Did he and have a Danny fish had thing? To... And Danny had to fucking derail everything. Hey, come on, man. Time moves on. You should right. too. Danny, no. Fuck you. God damn. <laughs> I will remind you, Danny, until we're both in the... Fucking God. I'm gonna shoot this bitch. Ian will remember that. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> we'll never forget that. Fucking come on! <laughs> I should have gotten out of the fucking car before we went off. Ah, damn it. Just Probably had to suggest to fucking follow him and help him out. I know, right? So now you have John Dodo. Yeah. Yeah. And Saul, the suave man, get protected by all the tribes of women, man, shit. <coughs> oh. Next session should be fun. Yeah, depending on how we fucking navigate it. My horrible fucking stealth roll with my dex of zero. It, that's the fucking... Funny thing is that it's still like a flat zero with the sh fucking skills I have. It's like still a fucking three. <laughs> That's such a fucking terrible dice roll. Yeah, I mean, look what <laughs> Dane's been rolling. Oh, uh, earlier anyway, because he's, he's been doing good. That fucking right. endurance check was Shit. wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I said, at least my fucking survivor, survival roles came in to fucking clutch there. Yeah, and my investigate and recon, you know? Fucking Saul got jumped. Hell yeah, fuck. Who are you? What are you doing? Gets kidnapped me. Like, where's Saul? <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm gonna implement, so I got that book or whatever. It has yeah. some things that you may or may not. Uh, I don't remember everything that I wanted, but most of it will just be like when it pops up, I'll introduce it. Gotcha. Point... Talk about it if it's never gonna pop up. But one of the main things is for combat. Um, is basically when you reach zero and all three of your uh like attributes attributes, there's still a chance that you're you know, you'll survive, um, but there could be like, you know, long-term or short-term effects, or just straight-up death still. <laughs> uh, I'm like with I... uh, Warhammer. Uh, yeah, kinda. It's gonna be some funny shit. Uh, and then there's also gonna be combat mishaps. Oh no. So if you, so if you roll double ones oh, boy. and then some things can happen. Double ones. I slit my own wrist and drop dead. <laughs> I bleed out on the floor in front of the enemy. Like, one of them is shoot or hit themselves for normal damage. Oh, uh, and, like, and the weapon malfunctions. Kind of be some shit. Like this one for the this one 
Traveler is vaporized, shredded, spread all over the landscape, and otherwise destroyed in a graphic gruesome fashion. Nice. Is that for the death thing, or is that for a weapon malfunction? Oh, no, that's for death. <laughs> yeah, that's for the death. But it's, uh, you know to make the characters, I guess, more uh, survival. So, yeah. <laughs> if only we knew that before Danny got thrown out of the fucking truck and Josh got fucking murdered in the well, show. This, this is like a GM book. Uh,